Hey guys, it's Nicole with the Chore Channel again. It was a rainy afternoon at our house and I thought I would just bring you along for some homemaking. I had all these apples that have been sitting on the floor in my kitchen that I needed to get processed. One of our friends has a bunch of apple trees on their property so we went and picked and we had like five bags to start with. We were down to two. So um, we've been making apple chips just non-stop for like the last two weeks. So I started up another batch of those, and then I borrowed my mother-in-law's, what do you call that, apple peeler core device to try and make things go a little faster because we've just been doing it by hand with a mandolin slicer and just like a little handheld core. Um, so this was a lot faster. It took me a few minutes to get the hang of it, but once I did get the hang of it, uh, it went so much faster than doing it by hand and this way the peel came off apple chips just taste a little better without the husky peel on it in my opinion once i got all the apple chips in and going i started on a new applesauce recipe i actually found it in a paleo kids cookbook that i rented from the library last week and it kind of intrigued me and I wanted to give it a try. It actually includes collagen in the applesauce, which uh, I love that idea. I would have never thought of that on my own. My original plan was to do one batch in the slow cooker and one batch in the pressure cooker. I've never tried doing much of anything in my pressure cooker, so I'm kind of new to it. I thought that the slow cooker would be a good idea, but I ended up abandoning it and doing it all in the pressure cooker because it was so fast and so efficient and it actually literally told, turned it into mush. Whereas the slow cooker, uh, I mean, it would have taken a long time, but I guess eventually it would have been mush. <laughs> this was my first crash course in applesauce in many, many, many years. And I've never had a pressure cooker before. So this was kind of an experimenting day. Bear with me. <laughs> So once I got it all in the pressure cooker and going, I um, just tidied up the kitchen a little bit to keep my sanity, and then I had a couple of house chores I wanted to get done. The sun decided to finally come out. It was beautiful later in the day. And then my kids had set out their laundry to be done early that morning and so I had thrown it in the wash and in the dryer. I actually just dump it in one of their rooms and when they get home from school they have to sort it and put it away. It's a mix of both of their clothes. So, And then my daughter had a couple of things that she wanted hung in her room that have just been sitting on the floor for a while. So I took a minute to get those things up and on the wall and just finish off the last of her decor in her room. We just added some things to it. So. Now it feels complete. Good enough. And I swear, every time I go in her room, I find something that I just shake my head. I'm like, why? 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 Why is this happening? Back to the kitchen because my pressure cooker was done and I could not believe that it was literally mush. I didn't have to process it at all. I didn't have to run it through the food processor and it was just like done. I smushed it once or twice with the potato smasher but it was it was amazing. I had I was not expecting that at all. So I was like uh, I'm gonna ditch my crock pot at this point in the day. So I transferred it over to a pot and got it, started getting it ready to can it. It was really good. I was actually really impressed. I'm not really an applesauce person. My kids absolutely love applesauce and they would live off of it if I let them. Um, but that's not something I typically grab as a snack, but it was really good. I ended up eating way too many apples that day and yeah, you know what happens when you eat too many apples. Anyways, I got everything started to 
can it and I added the collagen at this point while it was just staying warm on the stovetop. So it was, I did a double recipe so I ended up actually putting six scoops, uh, six tablespoons of the collagen and it helped it, it kind of made it seem more smooth and creamy. I don't know if that's just in my head but anyways I got it all canned and in the pot. And then it was time to conquer the dishes. They were piling up. I had stuff left over from the night before too, so there was just a lot of big things to wash, not necessarily a ton of items. It feels so good to get everything back in order after you've just been in chaos for a couple of hours. So it was nice getting it all washed up and set aside. The counters all wiped down. Everything was sticky and apple-y, so it felt good to get everything put away. I'm pulling out my first batch. I ended up only getting three jars out of this, which that seemed like a lot of work for only three jars, but it was worth it, I guess. And this is my glorious pile of clean dishes and pots. And then my cat was being very high maintenance, so I went in, out and checked on her food dish. Usually if she's being really vocal, it means that her food's about out. So I went and refilled her canister. We have an automatic feeder, so it feeds her three times a day. And I only have to check it about once a week. I do need to have to make sure that it um, is coming out of the spout because it can like get jammed, but it's really handy. And there is my glorious three jars all finished. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending time with me today. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a great day.